Hey friends, welcome to another Spider Month movie. If you're new here, I'm Christy, and here's where we watch all the shows and movies that you recommend. And a lot of you recommended that I watch all of the Spider Mans before Spider Man No Way Home so I can have better context and understanding of the character when I get to No Way Home. So I've already watched Spider Man 1, loved it. Spider Man 2, also loved it. And now we're jumping into Spider Man 3. And I'm excited because I thought that that was all of. Toby Maguire that I was gonna see, and then go to Andrew Garfield, and then to Tom Holland, who is the Spider-Man that I got to know first. But I found out that Spider-Man 3 also has Toby Maguire, and I'm and I love him. I think the way he portrays Spider-Man in a more innocent way is refreshing, and I'm excited to see what he has for this movie. I know, or I think, or I suspect, I predict that the villain in this movie is gonna be Green Goblin Jr., who is Harry, um, who now has access to all of his dad's, I don't know, masks and widgets, widgets? Who now has access to all of his dad's gadgets and he's probably gonna take on the character and be Green Goblin Jr. That's my prediction, but who knows? If you wanna continue my journey into Spider Month, please consider subscribing to my channel. All you have to do is click that button, give it a little ding, and come join the party. And speaking of parties, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, also consider taking a look at it. We have early access to video, the full length reactions, access to my video podcast, bloopers, you name it. Go check it out, and if you want to join, I would really appreciate. I love all of my patrons, but I wanna give a special shout out to my channel sponsors, who are John Coulson, Bradley Bradley, Matt N, Derek Davis, Treetop Jones, Chris Ninjury, Michael Norman, Sean Goforth, and Fabio. Um, you guys, my channel loves you, and so do I, baby. Also, someone pointed out that my hand that I have here is doing the pshh, the spider web spider web position i guess so it's a happy coincidence but i also thought i should have done this from the beginning to use spider-man colors so i have my red little moon here and my blue lamp on this side but in any case i'm ready to just jump in i have my hydration station and my headphones so let's watch <laughs> I heard a lot of you said that this is like the closest portrayal to Spider-Man to the comic books, which is exciting to me because I never read the comic books. So it gives me a little taste of what y'all were experiencing before it was made available in the big screen. Yes, Toby. He looks a little older, wiser, and so does uh, James Franco. Oh man, I loved Spider-Man 1. Oh, it got dark all of a sudden. Is it gonna be a darker movie? Is it gonna be heavier? We'll see. It's giving me the impression that it will be. Oh yeah, when he's top of the train. Oh, I love Doc Ock. I think he was my favorite villain. He's the coolest. It's me, Peter Parker, your friendly neighborhood. I love you, Peter. People really like me. Stick around, it's gonna start again in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the city is safe and sound. My Uncle Ben would be proud. Yes, he would be. I'm happy New York likes him now. ...are perturbed by the electric field. Still getting bullied? Are they flirting a little? And I'm in love with the girl of my dreams. She's still doing Broadway. She's doing Broadway? Yes! Excuse me. Now he shows up. Wow. It's wonderful. Is it gonna be Harry? Ugh. It's Harry. Who I liked, but he also always gave me like weird vibes, honestly. He hates him. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Peter. And I have my girl. You killed my dad. He doesn't know, but... Explain things. Oh, wait, he does know. Tell it to my father. 
Wait, he does know. He does know. How did I forget that? I love my flowers. They're beautiful. And those are from Harry. <laughs> see? I see Harry kind of turning into Green Goblin Jr. at any point. Oh my god, he did the thing! And he didn't break any glass in the process. That's romantic. I'd like to sing on stage for the rest of my life oh. with you in the first row. I love this for them. I hope it doesn't get ruined. Oh. There's stuff happening and y'all are kissing. Come on. What? Meteor? I bet that never gets old. Getting swung places and... <laughs> Why didn't you just swing her back home? What is it? What could this thing be? Oh, is he an escaped convict? An escaped jail goer? Escaped prisoner. What's he doing? his daughter i'm just here to see my daughter you are an escaped convict mm-hmm that's right i missed you i miss you too daddy mm. i promise i'll make you healthy again i'll get the money I'm not a bad person just had bad luck do apartments that are like really close to train tracks do they really shake that much I don't think so. I mean, I think it's a little like, mm, like a little something, but not that much. What is it? Peter. It's MJ. I'm going to ask her to marry me. Oh. <laughs> I get more emotional with good news than with bad news. I don't know if you've noticed. A man has to be understanding and put his wife before himself. Can you do that, Peter? Yeah, I think I can. Then you have my bliss. Hmm. Oh, I hope you've considered a proper proposal. Your uncle had it all planned. Let's swim to the island. And at the island, we found a perfect spot by an old tree. And we lay down and looked up at the sky. Close your eyes, May. And I did. And then he said, open. He was holding this ring. Why do I get so emotional with, with romantic stuff like that? We'd be married 50 years. Come August. Because if... he's gone. Give her this. <gasps> this is so nice. She's going to have a maid's ring that Uncle Ben picked. Oh! <laughs> Way to jolt me out of that emotional moment. Yeah, that's definitely Harry. <laughs> Listen to me! I didn't kill your father! He was trying to kill me! He killed himself! Shut up! Oh my god. I used to be trippy. Wow. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. Nice. Oh my God. This scene is incredible. Oh. You got it. Harry is relentless. I mean, Harry, how'd you learn to do all that in the first... I mean, I guess you probably were practicing a little. It's unfair Harry has all the gadgets. And Spider-Man has his web and strength. I hate those things. I hate those things too. Yeah. Oh. 
And you killed your own friend. First his dad, now him. Man, just let him die. He's more of a of like an issue that he is a friend. Come on. I'm not I'm not a great person. Peter is. Just recharge it one more time and clear. Did Harry die? I didn't really mean it. I didn't really mean let him die. I was just, you know, being a smart ass. Oh, shoot, little doggy. Oi! He punched a dog! Get out of here, Flint Marco. Where'd he go? He's not the guy that killed Uncle Ben. Because that he died, right? He fell off. He fell off a building backwards, Lee. Remember? Initiating demolecularization. Oh my god, talk about great timing. You're gonna get demoleculized right now. Oh, can't get out of it. Oh. This is horrible. It's like blipping, kind of. Oh, look at those German shepherds. Phoebe's. Is that how is that how he disappears? Demoleculization? How is he? He's gotta be okay. Okay. But there's been some memory impairment. Oh nice. Perfect. 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 Best case, he forgets that Peter Parker or that Spider Man <clears throat> sorry, he forgets that Spider Man was involved in his father's death. Love it. They're back to being friends. Best case. I think he's gonna be fine. I think so. And you guys seem great. Yeah. My best friends. I'd give my life for them. You guys. This is heartbreaking too. I'm feeling so many things. I wanted him to die so we get it out get him out of the way, but obviously I don't want him to die. Harry's a great guy, although now he's bad, but now he's forgot he's bad. And he's good again, back to being this nice beautiful handsome james i mean not james franco harry and i why are you making me feel so many things and now this other guy flint marco turned into sand oh my god this is so cool wow find a mirror buddy you won't believe what you look like <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. You've remoleculized. It's just... I look at these words. And it's like my father wrote them. Yeah, I remember your abusive father. Vicinity of 54th and 6th Avenue. Please report. Crane out of control. Go get him, tiger. She needs you right now. Can you let the cops deal with this one? She needs you right this second. <sighs> Must be exhausting. Dating a superhero. I'll be exhausting being a superhero too. You get beat up all the time. You don't, you can't make money off it. It's the alien thing. That crane job you sent us off. It's bigger than we thought. Oh, the crane's going nuts. Shut it down the generator! No! Dude, you need to get off. <gasps> Move away. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a tragedy. It's like the worst kind of disaster to happen in, in New York. Oh my god. That's Gwen. Who are you? It's Brock, sir. Edward Brock Jr. I work at the Daily Bugle. And I'm dating your daughter. Is that is that his her daughter? Oh no, se fue. No, por qué? Wow, I love the way he moves in here. Hey, 
Hey, Spidey, hold on. Bugle needs a photo. Thank God you're okay. <laughs> they got a guy. Who, Parker? Guy's kind of an amateur. Do all the girls that he saved fall in love with him? Get on with it, you moron! What? Your blood pressure, Mr. Jameson. Your wife told me to tell you to watch the anger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a character. Time to take your pill. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> You're late, maybe too late. Bruckner here, beach to it. It's Brock, sir. I got you this. But he got me this. Which one do we use? I like Bernstein's. See, photography, it's not just about, no offense, uh, flagpoles or whatever. It's about lighting, <laughs> composition, <laughs> drama. I want the public to see Spider-Man for the two-bit criminal he really is. Damn. Whoever brings me that photo gets a job. I know, J, 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 J. I love you, Stanley. Okay, clearly today I'm in an emotional state that I didn't know about until I started watching this movie. Oh, heads up! So, because obviously he's genetically modified, even if he doesn't remember it. I hope he uses it for good. He should be Spider-Man's eh, sidekick. She wanted to do that for the rest of her life. All right, Spidey! Oh, dang. How can he be there and be Spider-Man at the same time? <laughs> Look at him. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She hasn't told him. Obviously, she doesn't want to ruin his parade. I also wouldn't. T I also wouldn't tell him. I'd wait. Who is it that breaks your fall? Puts out the. Put your head on, please. Put your mask on. I don't like this. Protect your anonymity. No, no kisses. No Spider-Man. No. No Spider-Man. Right. Oh my god, that was your signature kiss with MJ. Oh my god, is this part of the show? They must be thinking. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god. Jigs up, pal. I don't want to hurt you. Leave now. <laughs> He's starting to get a little kind of like full of himself. I mean, I think he deserves it. He's Spider-Man, but his confidence is a little much. I'm the sheriff around these parts. How do you beat someone like that? Every time I watch a superhero movie, I'm always wondering how they're gonna beat the villain. I'm like, such a strong villain, it looks unbeatable. I'm always, <laughs> and then, and then they beat him, you know? Says, good always wins. Where do all these guys come from? <laughs> I also would not be happy. I signal you, if you'd bring some champagne with the ring. In the bottom of her glass? Perfect. Magnifique. That's really sweet. But he doesn't know that she got laid off from it. And she's also upset that you upside down kissed this other lady. I forget her name. You have no idea how I feel right now. No, oh, no, I, I, I know exactly how you feel. No, let her talk. I have been through this. It happens to me all the time. I don't know, I guess I've become something of an icon. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Hi. This is Mary Jane Watson. 
Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you. Pete talks about you all the time. Why are you touching him? Pete, if you've got a picture of my kiss with Spider-Man, could you bring it to class? Well, it was lovely to meet you. Was it? Because it's uncomfortable for everyone else. Y'all need to talk about that moment, please. When you kissed her, who was kissing her? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. That was our kiss. That was their kiss. You must have known how it'd make me feel. Yeah, dude. Honestly. Where are you going? Please don't follow me. <laughs> Can't you see she left? Originally, we thought that this man, Dennis Carradine, was your husband's killer. We were wrong. What do you mean? This is the man who killed your husband. Sandman. He saw him. No. I don't want to see this. No, wait, sir. You don't want to do this. I know, por favor. I get it! What are you doing? Why? And now he's made of sand. Aunt May called me. She told me about what happened. I'm worried about you. Don't be. I'm fine. Well, I don't want you to do something stupid. Why am I so emotional? Like, I want to cry about this. Today's an emotional day. I didn't realize. I'm sorry in advance <laughs> to everyone. Because I'm about to cry all the time. I'm fine. I'm, I don't need your help. You don't have to be rude either. On first floor. 310, 11 of Dang. He's just waiting to hear that they've seen him or found him so that he can go get him. <gasps> oh yeah, I forget. We have like a weird alien thing just lurking. What's he doing? It took over you. It took over you. Where am I? Who am I? That's a real question. What? Wait. What is this? Wow. I would love to swing like that. It has the characteristics of a symbiote, which needs to bond to a host to survive. It can be hard to unbind. Hard to unbind. Another sandstorm is reported in the vicinity. All cars, proceed with caution. Go get him. Bring your black suit. It's stronger and it's symbiotic. Yes. It's also cooler. At night, you're, you know, you can blend well with the night. This is exactly what I need to scoop, Parker. Give me, uh, give me some of that web action. Nice. See? Camouflage. What do you want from me? Remember Ben Parker? What does it matter to you anyway? Everything! <laughs> the really sad thing is that he's... Oh, that he's trying to steal money for his daughter. For his daughter's health. That's really sad. I guess everyone has a motive to... Do. This is cool. Nice. Nice. Look at it. Oh, he gets stronger with sand. Oh, yeah. You're becoming mud, bud. That's a good one. Or maybe this is how we beat him. What's gonna happen? Good riddance. Easy peasy. What's with, what's with the bangs, bruh? Rent? Not now. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! That was not cool at all. <sighs> That's the thing. That's the thing from the alien thing that entered your body and took it as a host to 
survive and be the bad Spider-Man that is stronger, but also cooler, but also bad. What happened? Spider-Man killed him. Understand. Spider-Man doesn't kill people. Spider-Man saves people. Aw, she's a waitress singer. I mean, no shame in that. I was a waitress without being able to sing. But she went from Broadway to that. She's feeling probably really down. Harry, yeah. He's probably gonna needs to find solace in Harry. Wow, he's a great artist. He paints with one arm back? I have a problem with the phone. No, I was trying to figure out what to say. If it's a woman you're calling, then you say, you're a good woman, I'm a good man. <laughs> you know if there's music on a movie, I'm going to be dancing to it. You know, there's not even a scar. Remember they were together for a while? A little bit? Oh my god, what? That's cheating because you haven't broken up with him. Mary Jane, please. I'm sorry. It's okay, but like, let's talk about it. You don't need to storm off. What have you done? So many things, so many things. Remember me. Yes, father. Make him suffer. Make him wish he were dead. No. <laughs> I wanted things with Harry to remain chill. I don't know what I was thinking. I know you were just there to help and I'll see you. <gasps> <gasps> what? If you want Peter to live, you're going to do something for me. Harry? Can you meet me? You bet. Now. Okay, where? At the bridge in the park. What's going on? What's going on? I don't want to see you anymore. What are you talking about? I don't know. But she's really just doing it to save him because Harry told Harry. It's over. No. Please. Please don't say that. Oh. Look, you see? You know what this is? That's Anne May's ring. There's someone else! <gasps> I've fallen in love with someone else. It's not true, though. Harry made her do that. There's another guy. <sighs> what a weird triangle. All these secrets. She was fired and she told you. She didn't tell me. Honestly, she tried to tell you, and you just started talking about yourself. I'm the other guy. I've always loved her, B. You know that. He must suspect that he's remember that Harry's remembering things and becoming Green Goblin Jr. again. I know this is not a good Spider-Man. What's his name? The Black Spider-Man. I know he's not a good one, like a good one, but I love him. He's strong and emo. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. And he has makeup. And when she kissed me, it was just like she used to kiss me. Stabbed you. I saw an out of the bottle of Maker's Mark. They love their Maker's Mark in this movie. Stings, doesn't it? I protected you in high school, now I'm gonna kick your little ass. <sighs> <sighs> they needed to make him not the regular good Spider Man because he wouldn't do that to his friend, even if his friend was. You know, Green Goblin Jr. 
I just don't understand why they, why they like changed his hair and gave him makeup. <laughs> you gonna kill me like you killed my father? I'm done trying to convince you. You took him from me. He loved me. No. He despised you. Because you were dumb. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? <sighs> I like him. I like this Spider-Man. I... Are we supposed to not like him? <laughs> yeah. But I don't like the hair. I mean, it's part of the look, but... This is the guy that gave the key to the city to? I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. They gave him, they gave him eyeliner, bro. You're trash, Brock. Excuse me? Your picture is a fake. <gasps> Photoshop? <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're just horsing around. Look, I'm begging you. If you do this, I will lose everything. You should have thought of that earlier. You should have, Brock. Parker? Come smoke. <laughs> it amplifies characteristics of its host, mm. especially aggression. Mm. This could be dangerous. You didn't keep any, did you? <laughs> Everyone's laughing at him. It's the hair. If you want the shots, I'll take the staff job. That's right. Double the money. It's also all about attitude. You can have that confidence and not be a bad guy. Although you haven't actually done anything bad. Yeah, let's talk about that. He hasn't actually done anything bad. He's just a more badass version of Spider-Man. Nice. Oh. This guy again. This guy again. Does he become water? Does he molecularize into water? Or did he find sand? He found sand. Uh, I like how his outfit always goes back to the same green striped shirt. Do you think I'm I'm dressed all right? Too fancy <gasps> or You're gonna take her for a date? to the jazz restaurant bar where MJ works. I'll throw myself out the window if this is true. I have never been to a jazz club before. Find us some shade. Thanks, Hot Mics. Peter? What? Hot legs. <laughs> what is this? This is for you. This is so extra. What? Is this a dream? <laughs> He's torturing MJ for nothing. It was all for her? Yeah. Rude. I'm so sorry. She's a nice girl. I like Gwen. Gwen Stacy. Hey. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with him? He's an asshole. Take him out of here. Let's go, sir. Take your hand off of me. Okay. Make <laughs> <gasps> what you hit her okay take back everything i said about him just being like a cooler version of spider-man he's an idiot he's a jerk uncle ben would not be proud he'd be really disappointed there's a cool shot though i wonder if that if that Outfit is waterproof. <laughs> I 
Because Spider-Man said, if you want forgiveness, find religion. To ask you for one thing. I want you to kill Peter Parker. What? That's not what religion is about, buddy. You can't ask Jesus or God to kill someone. I caught myself making a face. <laughs> oh my god. Does Brock become another villain? Now we have to worry about Green Goblin Jr., Sam's Man, and Brock. <laughs> Now we have three bad ones. You have a lot of apologizing to do, Peter, now that you're back to being normal. How's Mary Jane? I don't know. Did you ever propose? I did not. I mean, I kind of, but... I'm not ready. I hurt her, Aunt May. I don't know what to do. You start by doing the hardest thing. You forgive yourself. That is really difficult. Wait, can he... End of the line, Spider-Man. I know all about you. Like the fact that Spider-Man won't let you help your poor daughter. I want to kill the spider. You want to kill the spider. Together, he doesn't stand a chance. Interested? I don't get how he became Spider-Man. The, the thing that came from outer space only enhances who you are and what you have inside. Brock was a, a photographer. All he could do now is take better pictures or something. So... Where to? A young woman held hostage in a taxi. So <gasps> the hostage has been identified as Mary Jane Watson. And Come on. Don't take your time opening a suitcase. You need to run. She is dangling from some black webs in a taxi cab. Help. Don't think about it, bruh. I need your help. I can't take them both. Not by myself. It's true. <gasps> You don't deserve my help. But Mary Jane does. The night your father died, the blade that pierced his body came from his glider. Thank you, Bernard. Here we go. Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. The firefighters are like, yes, finally some help. <laughs> I'm going to get you out of this. Oh my God. Did that behead her? We can find a way to settle this. I'm thinking humiliation. Kind of like how you humiliated me. Well, you faked the photo. You made me lose my girl. Now I'm going to make you lose yours. Oh my god, this thing is scary. Smart. Hold on, Mary Jane! Oh my god, Sandman is here. The cameraman is scared. Huge. 
Oh my god, it's gonna kill him. Awesome! Take your kids home, bruh. This is dangerous. Came. To kill you. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> wow i love this collab oh my god i love this collab go buddy got her you okay yeah we still need to talk he seems impossible to beat. He just reconstructs itself with sand. That's it. At this point, just take your mask off. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're wearing an eye patch. Who am I? <laughs> Venom is scary AF. Oh. oh, it doesn't like sounds like vibrations of metals. Sacrifice himself. Harry. But you are good now. Do it, continue, continue. Oh my god. What? What are you doing? Eddie died. Mr. Sandman didn't. Harry. Mary Jane. I'm gonna get help. No. I didn't want this. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> I was scared. I told your uncle all I wanted was the car. He said to me, why don't you just put down the gun and go home? I realize now he was just trying to help me. I'm not asking you to forgive me. I just want you to understand. Done terrible things too. I forgive you. That's sweet. Because now you know it was an accident. He wasn't really just like cold-blooded murder. He just accidentally... Killed him, and but he, this guy is ex gonna exist. Is it is it like a villain that turned good, or that was never actually bad? He was just trying to find money to help his daughter. And do you find some peace in that, Peter? You're my friend. the choices that make us who we are and we can always choose to do what's right they belong together these types of movies have a way of make me making me feel so many things in such a short period of time i can go from like yeah kill him to like, oh, I'm glad he survived, you know, I'm glad you didn't kill him. Like, all these emotions, I don't know who I, I am anymore. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to take a quick, quick bio break, and I'll be right back, and we'll talk about it. 
Okay, I had so much fun watching this movie, um, and clearly I was kind of emotional all throughout it. But anyway, some things I really liked, I loved the action sequences, especially all the fights that happen in the air. I think that's so much fun. Um, I always appreciate a good action sequence. Um, and secondly, I love that he partnered with Harry. I love a collaboration between two superheroes, and in this case, like a superhero and a villain. I love the emotional aspect of it. The fact that Harry, uh, actually Harry flip-flopped too many times. He was, he hated Peter Parker, then he forgot about it, then he hated it again, then he forgave him. So it's a little flip-floppy, but I'm glad that he ended up on the good side and sacrificed himself to, for the greater good, I guess. Um, there were so many villains happening at the same time. It was a little... It was not hard to keep track of it, but I lost focus of where we were and who we were really fighting or who we were trying to get or who we were after. Um, and it felt kind of too much, like too much happening. I wish that they focused on the one, like let's say Green Goblin Jr. and Sandman or Venom and Green Goblin Jr. or Venom and Sandman and Green Goblin had always be good. I don't know. I don't know how they could have made it a little more focused, but I feel like there were too many things happening at the same time. Now, Venom was really, really scary. Like, I think we could have gotten more out of him um, and maybe a little less out of Sandman. I think what I like about the Sandman situation is that he gave us closure with Uncle Ben's death. But outside of that, I think he was just, I don't know. I don't know if I liked that villain. Um, and it did show us that he had a reason to be doing what he was doing. You know, it, he, they humanized a villain by showing us that his daughter was sick and he was just trying to get her help. How can we not talk about emo Peter? Um, I loved the, like black spider-man i liked that he was more confident i liked that he seemed stronger but and even when he was peter parker he also was kind of more confident and like kind of suave but a bit much like <laughs> go back to my reaction and watch my face when he was like dancing on the street he was just like a like you cross the line from confident to a little bit ridiculous, <laughs> but I still loved him. I think he did a great job at being emo. The hair was much, the eyeliner was much, um, but they, they, they made him do like, we needed that character, right? Maybe we didn't actually, <laughs> but I was happy to see him. I was happy to get to know emo Peter Parker. Now, he cried the whole movie. I don't think I've ever seen an actor cry more in a trilogy than I did Tobey Maguire in, in these three movies. I liked it, very emotional, but I also didn't like that it was, the situation with MJ was kind of murky, like it's still kind of murky. Things were not completely explained to each other. They, they just kind of brush off some things but in general, I had a, a ton of fun. I think it was a really fun movie. I have a lot of fun with Spider-Man. I prefer him when he collaborates with other um, superheroes, although we don't really see that a lot. So this was fun for me to watch. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to follow my adventures, go follow me at in, on Instagram. Go follow me. Go blah, blah, blah. blah. And if you want to follow my adventures, check out my Instagram at Christy Reacts, and I'll see you later. Till the next Spider-Man movie. Bye.